so we do have um, a little presentation perhaps that has, I've been asked to show here from the Chinese folks on nanomaterials and perhaps we could take a little uh, journey into that for a few minutes here I'm wondering if um, uh, Max is here and um, Yan Cheng Lui. Max, are you able to speak there? I see your. Uh, I'll try to unmute you and see if you're able. Hello. Hi, Rick. Yes, I can hear. Yeah. Um, uh, but I'm not sure whether Liu is online. Um, maybe you could ask him. Okay. Um, Liu. <laughs> Yen Cheng Lu, are you online? And if so, you can put up your hand if you're in one of the viewers, and I can promote you to a panelist. There's two people with Chinese writing. I'm not sure who they are. If they can even understand me. So, um, hopefully that's the case. I suppose I could show it anyway. It's it's nanomaterial stuff perhaps we have some other things we could speak of and do this on Thursday as well so I'd like to have him speak about it if he's here yes I'm here oh okay well let's um, let's have a look at it then I'll bring it up on the So briefly, this is, uh, as it's titled, The Study of Different Pulse Ways and Production of Nano-Coated Copper, and How It Affects the Directivity or Polarization and Growth of the Coating. So, um, would you like to uh, begin with this, uh, Yen? Can I call you Yen? Yes, okay. I use two production of the nanocoded. One is the hard caustic steam, and one is the cold caustic way. And I use two pulse way. And one is diagonal pulse and vertical pulse. The, can you? Yes. There's the pulse. I use the voltmeter and to the 200 millivolts and as you can see in the diagram i use just use this to pulse the top is diagonal pulse and the the, the bottom is vertical pulse so you can go down i think and i use the SEM to analyze the number one is hard caustic steam and there's no more and no any pulse just no more just you can see in the sir sorry yeah, we had to, I had to mute everyone um can we get the end uh, can you open your microphone again there or can we do it uh, Vince I'm not sure where he even is there I, I I was looking going, what was that background noise? And uh, you were quicker than I was, so thanks, Rick. Okay, which of your microphones, Yen, was it? Uh, you have two of them there. I'm assuming it's the one without the camera, so I'll unmute that. Can you speak there now? Maybe it's the other one. I'll mute, unmute the other one. Unmute that one. Can you speak Hello? now? Okay, Hello? we can hear you now. Sorry about that. All the microphones came on for some reason there, so go ahead. Um, yeah, we we're in the middle of the hot caustic steam here. Yeah, this is no more. I don't. I don't put any pulse. Yes, you can see the lactis. Lactis, see, is 
you can you can keep going and then see all and see the conclusion. Then we go back to to You want <clears throat> you want to see the diagonal ones here first? No, no, no. You you can. You want to go, go back? No, no, no. You can go. You just go down and let okay. every, everyone see the okay the pictures. Then we discuss. Okay. Yeah. Then in the end, I have the conclusion. So those are the hot caustic pictures. Now we have the cold caustic. This is uh, normal without any pulse. It's the same thing blown up. This is with the diagonal pulse. And the vertical pulse. And there's your conclusion, which says hot caustic has more lattices, <clears throat> which are more closely compared to cold caustic. And the diagonal pulse is better than the vertical pulse because it is comprehensive for a nano-coated copper plate. Okay, maybe you could describe that or talk about that a little bit. Yes, about the caustic has more lattices, which are more closely compared to cold caustic. You can go up to the hot caustic, no pulse, please. Are you saying don't use pulse? What exactly do you recommend that? I don't understand. Just use the uh, voltmeter. Yeah, you can see there are more, the, the lattice is more closely than you can see the cold caustic. Go down, <laughs> see the cold caustic. What do you mean by lattice? What that word means? What's the it means the um, just a moment. The networking, maybe. Which one is better? Uh, better for what? That's what I want to know because I see a picture of it. Does it tell me nothing? Well, <laughs> what are you designing that you want it better for? The better is diagonal, and the better production is hot caustic steam. I haven't done the fire coating yet. Like this one here, you're talking about. No, that's the vertical. Yeah, 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 this one. The vertical? The diagonal. Diagonal. Yeah. This is the better. When you say diagonal, you mean what exactly? It means you go the back. post way. Diagonal see the through the plate. Sorry, sorry, my English is not isn't 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 good. So. No, you're you're doing fine. 
So the diagonal pulse would be from one corner of the plate to the um, kitty corner, like at the other end. And the yep. ver vertical being um, up and down through the diameter. Yes. I use the volt meter to to pulse, to give give a pulse to the nano coat nano coat copper plate. Mm -hmm. And what, what kind of pulse did you give? What? How often? Um. Just once. I just used once. Oh, just one. Uh, you applied it for a few seconds once. Yes. Oh, I see. Wow, it made quite a change then. Okay, what else can you say about uh, about this? You figure that the this is the best, the diagonal pulse, because it's more uh, the particle, there's more edges, there's more of a network, more, more, um, more com comprehensive. Comprehensive, okay. Yeah. You can see the change of the lattice. This is the after the pause, the lattice change. And if you don't have any pulse, you can see, you can go up, please. You don't, if you don't give any pulse, the lattice is like this. Yeah, you, it give a lot of gape. So, so if you, yeah, you can. Oh, they're, they're like blobs or round spheres <clears throat> as opposed to all the edges of the uh, there's a lot more edges available it's, it's much um, more angular more crystalline that's the word thank you yes that's right exactly stop and what, stop Go up. You can see the picture on the top. Oh, no, no, no. Go down. Yes, this. You can see the picture on the top. You can see the top. There's a little black. There is the pulse didn't go through that way. So the letters didn't change it. Just like the the black one, just like the no more pause, just no pause. Yeah, you can go up, you can see the 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 black black uh, black one is you can go up. Yeah, just like this. They didn't have any pause to the field didn't it didn't go and the letters didn't change. That's what I understand. It. Okay. What I want to say is if you want to give a pause, just make sure the feel can comprehend every nano-coated material. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that's all. So how about uh, to uh, apply the pulse, uh, not just at two points, but uh, on uh, two uh, edges? So two edges. With, a, with, a, with an electrode which uh, is enough wide uh, to apply on the both edges, instead of just uh, uh, applying just the point. You're talking about the left and right side of this plate here, for example. Is that what you mean? Yes. Or top I and think bottom, it's say. Same as the diagonal pass. 
Yeah. Yes. So perfect uniformity still we can't get, but we can improve the uniformity of uh, that uh, direction. It's not uh, so much important for uh, the plates which we use for uh, uh, creating ends, but it's more important when we make reactors. Mm -hmm. Today it's important to have a uniformity to uh, help the flow of the energy and to not have areas which would work each against other. Mm -hmm. These are very beautiful, valuable pictures. We have seen similar pictures uh, from Bulgaria, from Mr. Veselin Velichkov, who works at the uh, Bulgarian Academy. Unfortunately, we had no information uh, about uh, what kind of uh, polarization they used or not used. Uh, only had, uh, he only uh, shown comparison between uh, caustic coated and uh, flame coated. Mm -hmm. But it, it's very, very, this is very valuable when we have documented exactly the process, how it was made. Would you be able to do some more tests like this, uh, Jan? If, do you have access to the equipment that you can take more pictures? Mm, yes, but I need time. <laughs> mm, yes. It's take time, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. Great contribution. Great contribution. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by this one actually. I think that's an amazing structure. It's got so many holes and little places and so on. It's and yet it's got, got kind of an even texture at the same time. It's more fragile to me. Mm-hmm. More fragile, but will collect more fields, perhaps. It'd be really interesting to see what some of our surfaces look like under this kind of uh, system. There's no fire, no fire, no coating there, so, so we can compare. This is only caustic, right? Right. Yes. Yes. I will. I, but I will do the fire coating after. Be so interesting to see if that's what the sun and the rain and the cold temps at night are doing to my coils. Yeah, it would be good to see what kind of uh, surface that uh, promotes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, are these uh, beautiful pictures available somewhere in public? It would be great uh, to share with uh, in other workshops which you do in other languages. Are you talking to me or the Lugo? Sorry, I am still still talking about these uh, yeah, yeah. microscopic pictures. Okay, um, anything else on that, or shall we move on to something else?